Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today is going to be a really quick video and it's about a missing bus. Yep, it's kind of cryptic, so I'll tell you more in a minute. Welcome back. Uh, right, so a bit, bit of a story to say. Um, this is going to be a quick video and it's simply about creating buses. Um, more importantly, getting the buses to appear on this arrange window. That is what it's. Uh, a day ago, uh, I was asked a question about creating buses. I have this template which I always work from. Uh, and somebody asked me, how do you get your, your buses to appear in the arrange window? I thought, bit of a simple question I can answer that very quickly I said look I just I, we'll talk about it later we'll just get this bit done and we'll talk about it later uh, however later uh, they asked me again and then I said yeah yeah sure I'll show you I turned up at my page and I, said, and I couldn't I just for the life of me I couldn't remember how I did it five minutes later still hadn't remembered how I did it and I said look I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll tell you later uh, so I went back, everyone had disappeared, and I decided to figure out how I did it. Uh, so I'm going to share with you how I, <laughs> how I did it. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to start on a blank page. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is, on I'm on a Mac, uh, so on a Mac we're going to hit the T key and we are going to create a group of tracks. Um, so in this case, let's do them, let's make them purple for a it's for the sake of this. Okay, uh, so I've created four um, tracks here and I now want to create a bus for them. So I'm going to hit the shift key and select them all. Then I'm going to right click on this and then I'm going to say add a bus for selected tracks. And as you can see, that bus appeared here and it hasn't appeared in the arrange window. And the reason why we want it here is because when we're, when we're tracking, we don't want this console window open all the time. So we hit it. Uh, we now can't mute or solo that, the, the, that, that bus for these because we don't see it on screen. So we want to be able to see it on screen. So uh, having, when I was asked the question, I couldn't figure out how to do it. It took me a while and I was hitting every button on the keyboard. Uh, and then I hit the right key, the, the right click on the mouse, and this came up, and I thought, oh, yeah, that's how you do it. So the, the way to do it is to hit the uh, right click on, and not just, you can't just right click anywhere. <laughs> you literally have to right click in this lane. Uh, so we right click in this lane, and the automation will come up. Uh, once the automation, once this dialog box appears, if we just say, okay, it will bring up that track in this window, so your range window. Uh, and that's all you do. Uh, now we can see that the automation lane has appeared. Let's get rid of that. We know how to do that. We'll just click on that uh, automation, uh, show automation, which is the A on the uh, keyboard, and we'll get rid of that. And just for neatness, we can right click at the bottom here and probably make it the same color. That's technique number one. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna delete all of that. And I, I'd say that when I say technique number one, what I mean is, if you're not if you're not using this all the time, that possibly will be your preferred route. If you're gonna use the buses all the time, then there is another way. So let's delete all of this and we'll start again. Um, so what? So the second method that we'd like to look at today is we are gonna go across to the start menu and we're gonna hit the start and then we're gonna go down to the setup menu. Uh, we're gonna run along to the advanced tab and then we're gonna look at the automation tab. Uh, once we hit that, there is a line here that's currently unchecked. It says automatically create automation for tracks and channels, uh, for tracks, tracks for channels, I, I beg your pardon. And we are going to click that and then we are going to click the apply. Once we've hit the apply, we're gonna say okay. We will go back to our track that we were working on and we will start again. So we're gonna hit the T key on the keyboard. We're gonna create these four tracks again. We're gonna hit the shift key and select the top one, which allows us to select all of the tracks. We're gonna hit the, we're gonna hit the right key, um, we're gonna hit the right on the mouse button, and we are gonna scoot down to it says, uh, add a bus for selected channels, and we're gonna say yes, and automatically it already brings that track in. Why? Because it said, and add an automation lane, which is what we wanted it to do. And then you can finally go over and then add your color. So now we have this will always appear. Uh, and to prove it's gonna always appear, we're gonna do the same thing again. We'll add another track, well, let's make this one blue. We'll add it here and we can see that we've added four blue tracks. We're gonna select them as well and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. 
add a bus for selected channels and we can see that that one's also come in and appeared here and also appeared here and we'll probably make that blue. So now that's how we do it. And as long as we've left it checked when we uh, shut the machine down or shut the program down, it will appear here. And as I said, the reason why you'd like it to appear there is that when you're here uh, in your um, arrange window, you can mute and solo and use the uh, volume control and you don't have to have that mix window in the console open all the time. And that is simply it. Okay, that's it for me. If you'd like me to do more tips uh, on pre sonas I also have some tips. I don't know everything about these programs, so don't start telling, sending me some really uh, complicated things. I've also used um, uh, Pro Tools, uh, Logic, um, and Ableton. Uh, but these are just things that I've found out uh, when I've been stuck. Uh, so what I would advise if you want to do it is, as I said previously, I always start with a template. And this is my template that I always start with. It already has my buses there. It means that when I'm starting to create a track, I don't have to go and do this every single time. So perhaps it might be worthwhile you um, creating this layout and just having it saved as a template, a default template. Okay, that's it for me. Take care. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.